This is a day that the Lord has made, and I have decided that I will choose to rejoice in it and in the me that I am right now. And I hope you choose to love the now version of you too. Welcome. This is Morning Tea with Sandra. Hello, hello. Today we are sipping from Genesis chapter 37, verse 9, the story of Joseph and his dreams. All right. Verse 9 says, Then he dreamed still another dream and told it to his brothers and said, Look, I have dreamed another dream. And this time the sun, the moon, and the 11 stars bowed down to me. Who told you to stop dreaming? Don't you remember when you was a kid how many dreams you had? Dreams of being a lawyer, teacher, doctor, singer, um, wrestler, (laughs) all kinds of dreams we've had. Um, And we believe all of them were possible. Somehow life happened to us and told us, oh no, you can't be all of these different things. You have to be one. Who told you that? Did God tell you that? No. Joseph here kept having all these dreams and he believed in his dreams. And if you know the story of Joseph, those dreams came to pass. And so I want to challenge you when you lay down at night, allow yourself to just dream again, dream of all the different possibilities. I mean, there's so much possibilities of what can happen in this world, in our life. I know, um, Life right now is can be challenging, but dreaming takes you out of all the um, limitations and begin to expand your mind, begin to expand your spirit, begin to expand your heart so that you can actually achieve these things. Um, you know, so here in his dream, he's saying, and this time the sun, the moon, and the 11 stars bow to me. And so continue dreaming so that all the people, the situations, and the circumstances that have said no to you in the past, they bow this time. 